Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today I am going with a lamina problem. A triangular lamina of 25 mm sides rests on one of its corners on BP such that the median passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to BP. Draw the projections. In simple words, it is a triangular lamina of 25 mm sides. So it is resting on VP with one of its corner. As it is resting on VP, it has to be parallel to VP and corner means that corner has to come towards left side. And median passing through the resting corner, that has to make an angle of 45 degree with respect to VP. That is phi is equal to 45. And the same median has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to HP. That is theta is equal to 30. Now you can observe here, I have written locus only for the theta, not for phi. As it is median is inclined, it has to be a locus problem. I have written only for theta, I have not written for phi. So why I have written only for the first, uh, only for one angle, why not for another angle? Once while explaining the problem, I will tell you. Now, basic thing, first draw a horizontal line, name it as xy. A thin line, name it as xy. This is x, y, vp, hp. Now this lamina is resting on vp means it has to be parallel to vp and vp is above the x y line. It will come above the x y line. And resting on corner means corner has to come towards left side. So draw a triangle with thick line at 25 mm sides. Draw a vertical line of 25 mm side. I use the arc by center from method. So from this end, 25 mm is the radius. Draw one arc. Similarly, from this end point, 25 mm is radius. Draw another arc. Here, both the arcs are intersecting. That will be the third point. Join that one point to another two corners. This length will be 25. This is A dash, B dash, C dash. Project all the three corners to the X, Y line. With the help of thin line, project the corners till X, Y line. From A dash till X, Y line. Similarly, from B dash till X, Y line. Join these two endpoints with thick line. So from this endpoint to this endpoint. So this will be A and this is C in the bracket B because C is nearer to the observer, C is visible. C in the bracket B. This completes the first position. Coming to the second position, the median passing through resting corner, resting corner is A dash. If we draw a median passing through this one, it has to be till C dash B dash. The length of this one is same as length of this one. So nothing but this line has to make an angle of 45 degree with respect to VP. That is with respect to X y. So the same line length it has to make an angle of 45 degree with respect to X y line. The length of the line is AC. The angle it has to make is 45 degree. In downward direction, the angle will be 45. This will be A. And this is C in the bracket B. Now project these two endpoints in the upper direction. From A in upper direction. Similarly, from C and B in a production. Now from A dash project, so A is here till this line project. From B dash, so B is there on this line till this line project. Similarly from C dash, C is there on this line till this line project. Here is the extra lines. 
So this will be the A dash. This is B dash. This one is C dash. Join all the three points with continuous thick line. So A dash to B dash to C dash to A dash. So this completes the second position. Now you can observe this is the median passing through the resting corner. Resting corner is A dash. So the median passing through the resting corner is this much. The length of this is equal to length of this one. So as it is not changed, this 45 degree in front of that one, I have not written locus. Now for the third question, what it will happen? So I will draw a median here also. So from A dash, I will draw a median. Till the midpoint of C dash P dash and I will name this one as D dash. So D dash A dash is the median for the second position. Whereas this is the median that is I will call this one as D1 dash. A dash D1 dash is the median for the first position. By observing these two lengths A dash D1 dash is more whereas A dash D dash is less. So because of that one, only for third position, the locus will come. So always if it is a locus problem, the locus will come only for the third position. So we'll check what is this dimension and what is this dimension. So this is 15.31, whereas this one is 21.65. You can observe. The median length from 21.65 it is reduced to 15.31 because of the inclination of the lamina. So now this median has to make an angle of 30 degree with respect to HP. So first draw a 30 degree line with respect to HP. Draw a 30 degree line. Initially I will give the dimension for this one. Initially, on this line, anywhere consider a center and cut an arc of original median length. So original median length is 21.65 mm. So take arc by center point anywhere on this line as a center. Draw an arc of 21.65 mm. 21.65 mm radius arc. So trim this one. And this is for D1 dash. So this point is D1 dash. The center will be A dash. It is A dash D1 dash we have drawn. So the center will be A dash. Now from the same center, before that, from this end point, draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line. Now from the same center, draw another arc of radius this much that is 15.31 mm to intersect this horizontal line so from the same center draw an arc of 15.31 mm radius arc to intersect this horizontal line and this it is a 15.31 nothing but a dash d dash a dash already we have marked this is d dash Join A dash D dash. No, still we have to get B dash and C dash. How to get B dash and C dash? You can observe here this B dash C dash, it is passing through D dash. So nothing but C dash D dash B dash are on the same line, and this line is perpendicular to A dash D dash. This line is perpendicular to A dash D dash. Now what I will do from D dash, draw a line perpendicular to A dash D dash. From D dash, draw a line perpendicular to A dash D dash. So draw a line. The angle between these two lines has to be 90 degree perpendicular. That has to be 90 degree. Now what is the length? So the length of that one, already we have marked D dash. 
one side it, it has to come c dash another side it has to come b dash so you check the angle the angle between these two how much it is 12.5 similarly this is also 12.5 because overall it is 25 means half of that one it will come so 12.5 12.5 so this side also 12.5 this side also 12.5 it has to come so use the arc by centimeter from this point 12.5 mm as the radius cut an arc trim the extra portion now same thing this side also instead of that one we can extend that line we can extend that line extend the line in opposite direction the length of this line is also from d dash it has to be 12.5 so once again take half by center point from d dash cut an arc of 12.5 mm radius so extra lines erase that one so make this as thick because that is visible and join this two points with uh, a dash from a dash join to d dash this point this end point and similarly to this end point so one of the end will be b dash and the other end will be the c dash now you can observe it is like this and if we consider we have drawn like this means b dash will come here and c dash will come here so this will be the b dash whereas this one will be the c dash now project the lines in donor direction from a dash project in donor direction a it is there on x y line so till x y line project a dash so b dash and c dash it is there till this one so from c first draw horizontal line afterwards from b dash draw vertical line till this line because it is there on this line point b will come on this line similarly from c dash draw vertical line till this line trim the extra portions so this will be the a this is came from b so b dash this will be b and this came from c dash this will be c join all the three points with thick line a to b to c to d now you can observe this is the apparent one so this 15.31 is the apparent one so we have to check the apparent inclination also apparent inclination with respect to hp or apparent inclination in the front view it is called as alpha we have to measure this one also so for that one extend this a dash d dash line till x y line extend this a dash d dash line till x y line now you measure this angle the angle of x y line and a dash d dash line so that will be alpha 45 degree is the answer so we have to write the answer simple alpha is equals to 45 degree 45 degree so this completes the problem if you have any doubts message me thank you please subscribe my channel